350 works on show tonight, so clearly I'm not going to talk about every one of them. And in fact, I'm going to invoke my role as an art historian and to, uh, in a sense, turn my back on them before turning back towards them and talk about the tradition of uh, still life painting. One, I think one asks, uh, I certainly did to start with, what is and what is not? a still life painting. One comes up with the idea of definitions, and with those definitions one includes or excludes, or one includes things that are rather on the margins. So, still life painting is an accepted as a recognized, I should say, category of art, and has been for centuries. And I'm conscious that I'm speaking as an art historian, an aging art historian at that. I see still life as part of the history of European tradition and anybody working with it or even thinking about it is inevitably involved in some form of conversation with that tradition. If they are ambitious for themselves, as Picasso and Braque of course were, and many artists were and are, the artist will seek to challenge this tradition even overturn it, even destroy it. We're never going to do another still life. This is the last still life that can ever be made. But of course, their work is inevitably absorbed by that tradition. The most you can do is not destroy, but give life to the tradition by extending it. Still life is evidently a more learned subject of art than might appear at first blush. It's more layered with history, more layered with tradition. How much of this is in the past, like the curriculum of art schools to life teaching? How much of it is operative still today? I want to turn now to look at some of the themes, not the works, but some of the themes, as the things out, I think, uh, in an exhibition such as this. Well, as I say, still life is little taught at art schools today, and I would hazard that the several artists, and there are quite a few here, who have engaged in formal exercises using the still life as a subject, even art historical exercises, by which I mean referencing particular styles uh, in their still life subjects, are probably older than the others, and of a generation who saw at least something of this in their training. In other words, it's entered the bloodstream. There are several in this exhibition, some who seem to affirm the value of tradition by quoting it in one form or another, and others who seem quite self-consciously to attempt to dismantle it. Younger artists who have been schooled in this way are obviously more free from this tradition, this training, and express themselves more loosely on the format and perhaps give themselves over more fully to the ostensible subject matter rather than issues of representation that attach to that subject matter. For the most part, artists seem to have been content to use banal, ordinary forms from their uh, from their household existence, most likely. Not in opposition to some exalted ideal, but I think rather to inform the ordinariness of existence on the one hand, and as objects in which to exercise and develop their skills in representation on another. But the governing idea of having many artists address the same theme, in the same format, at the same very affordable price, is I think a wonderful method of organizing an exhibition. Moreover, in offering each artist up to 10 different panels, um, it has brought forth some very interesting interpretations of the subject. Some have done variations on the theme, some have created extended essays, some have looked for formal relations between their works, all very 
very interesting um, responses and solutions to the perennial um, still life problem. Um, congratulations, Avril, and thanks very much for a very interesting exhibition. Yeah.